Hey guys, Canadian Zay Geek back, and this time I'm going to be doing a step by step how to make your own Atari 2600 joystick. Um, and it's like super easy, and it's uh, definitely going to be, you know, if you don't have a lot of experience in doing this kind of stuff, uh, you should be able to follow along and do it you know, pretty easily. So, this is the end result. Um, I worked on this in uh, around Christmas time. This is a holiday project um, from our arcade controls and buttons and everything. And it works great. Uh, I'm so happy with the way it turned out. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, first we're going to need some materials. So it's not a heck of a lot, but I'm going to do it one itemized piece at a time. So first off, you're going to need an arcade uh, joystick. Uh, I got this for about 12 bucks Canadian um, off eBay. You know, they're not terribly expensive. And, uh, you know, it's just the standard 4 8 way switch arcade uh, stick. Okay, and uh, you're going to need a button. So, arcade button. Um, of course, you're going to need a micro switch with that, which is right here. That's what goes into the bottom of there. And uh, you're going to need a, uh, a cable connector for the box. Um, I got this one from eBay. I think it was like a couple of bucks. And this makes it really easy. Like, it's even numbered for the pins and uh, you just slide the cables inside and screw them down it's it makes it so easy so you're gonna need one of those I'll do an itemized list uh, in the description um, you're gonna need a connector cable for that you know male and female side and just you don't have to do this next get this next piece but I like to do it because I like to have the the right prongs going into uh, my Atari. Um, I know this it actually technically could fit in there but uh, I like to be a little bit on the safe side and get a longer cord in the process. I got one of these uh, cable extensions that you usually get for Genesis and Atari and everything and uh, that I'm gonna put on the end of this which will go inside of the, uh, the joystick um, after it's uh, all done and of course lastly you need to have something to uh, house the entire thing in I got this box this is the same box that I got uh, did for my other one I got it from Michaels 50% um, off I think I paid like five bucks and it's already like put together you don't have to do too much muss and since it's got the little clasp on it you know if uh, once you have everything installed you can open it up easily and uh, fix any loose connections or anything if it ever happens um, mine hasn't had any problems yet but uh, yeah let's get started so first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to draw on where you're gonna make your holes on the box so you're gonna have to trace out the back of the connector point on the back here do proper holes for the joystick and uh, the uh, the button on the top and then cut all that out prior um, after that then you can start working on assembly okay well, let's do that okay so I've made the uh, the markings on the box already so the easiest way to get the markings is to take this off the button um, to get where the button's going to be. Do the tracing on the inside because you know that that's where it's going to end up sitting. Um, make sure you're going on the narrow side not on the wide side because you have to make sure that this fits in and then this lip sits on top so it sits snugly and then this ties on the bottom. 
Um, as for uh, where you want the joystick, make sure you got enough room all the way around for uh, the switches underneath to have room because you're going to have to wire that in. Just take this disc cover off and just place it where you need to be and then trace the inside and that's how you get the spot for that. Uh, same thing with the uh, the connector switch. You know, do it on the bottom of the box there. So when it's in there, it'll just sit right on top like that. And then there's even little screw holes on the bottom. So you can actually mount that right down to the box as well. So let's get this cut out and uh, we'll pick it up from there. Okay, so I finished drilling the holes. So right here, here, and in the bottom there for the connector. Okay, so next thing we gotta do is start preparing the joystick. Okay, so let's move this aside. So I'm gonna put up a schematic that I've been using. I got it online, I didn't make the schematic. Um, here's a little thing of it here, but I'll put it up in the corners. Okay, so first thing, just to make it easier to keep track of everything, on the bottom of the uh, the joystick, you're going to be looking at the uh, the grounds and the switches. So to make things easier, I learned from this from last time. I wish I would have done it before. Um, as by the schematic, I actually wrote on in uh, black ink or black marker what the grounds are and what each of them are, so I can see where I'm going to be connecting wires. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, just like the diagram, connect all of the grounds um, starting from uh, up, but everything's reversed obviously because if you press like this, this moves the bottom um, connector when you flip it over, so it'll be right here. So this is up, and this is down, and this is right, and this is left. So <clears throat> um, start from, uh, from up, work your way around, so you're going to do from up to ground, to right ground, to bottom ground, to uh, uh, left ground, and then when you start start at the left, do a little bit of a longer cord or a longer piece of wire, because that's the one that's going to go to the uh, the connector at the bottom. So we'll get started on that. And oh yeah, I guess I forgot to mention you also need some kind of cabling. I just use some rainbow wire and I separate them and use that as that. Um, just to make things easier, I, I recommend using the grounds all as one color. So I'm probably going to do, uh, I don't know which color I'm going to use, but whatever. D just to help you keep track of everything. Alright, we'll see you in the next step. Okay, so we got all the grounds connected now. Just like that. I know that uh, for arcade cabinets there's like little prongs that you si normally solder onto uh, the cords and then you attach them. but. I don't have any of those, so I just soldered them directly to the grounds. So it goes all the way around, and then you got a long cord that will end up going to the connector. So um, I'm going to go ahead and solder on the uh, up, down, left, and right. So I'll have uh, five cords that will be able to go to the connector at that point, and then uh, we'll go to the next step. Okay, I finished wiring it up. It looks a lot more confusing than it actually is. Just follow the diagram. So every, all the grounds are connected and there's one lead going off of every direction. Now at the same time, I took the micro switch and I did another wire into the ground just on the side where it connects on. And it doesn't matter, you can connect it to any of the grounds as long as it's a complete line. And uh, I also did one cable out of it to fire, so just so you know, the bent one on the micro switch is the ground, and the one sticking out is the fire button. So this is the, the piece that will connect to the, the button and will get you your, your action shots there, whatever. Um, so this is also a number just like on the diagram there, so it should be pretty easy. Um, next step, um, I already got the box as you saw before drilled out um, and uh, we got some got some bolts here and some washers that they're going to use to bolt to the top of the box um, basically before you start uh, painting the box and all that kind of stuff you want to take off if you have any clasps or anything on it because you don't want any of that and uh, 
you want to bolt it in so you have all the holes so when you start uh, painting it you know you're not uh, painting over anything so I'm going to uh, install it and uh, make sure it works before I go any farther and then yeah go from there okay so I got everything mounted now everything's bolted in but just for t for temporary anyways because I still got to paint it and fin touch it up and everything so I have everything like loose everything's going towards the various uh, pinouts like I said this thing makes it like so easy you just kind of screw it in just like speaker wire almost um, everything's in place everything is you know clicking and working so we're gonna go plug it in make sure it works there's no point going any further until you can make sure that you got all the connections and solder points uh, put together and uh, yeah we'll be right back all right so we're ready to go with uh, the testing phase so it's just sticking out I'm not bothering to put it in because I'm taking it apart right away so we got well, shout out to the Atari creep I got that from him uh, a little while ago this is my custom cigari 2600 I made out of a cigar box so let's turn it on there we go and we're up with my favorite game Phoenix and let's start okay, let's see oh I'm already dead <laughs> all right well, it's kind of hard to play this with one hand all right so We got it working. All right, so let's uh, clean it up and uh, reassemble it, disassemble it, clean it up, paint it, and reassemble. We're ready to go. Okay, so it's all varnished and painted and ready to go. Uh, game on. And uh, yeah, it's time to put it all together. And uh, then yeah, it's done. <laughs> it's pretty easy. And boom, we're done. So I put the clasp back on. It's all mounted in. And yeah. Success. All right, so we're all done. Matching set now. Um, but I, I don't necessarily need two. Well, I probably will. I'll probably make another one later. But this one that I just made, um, I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway for it. Um, I'm going to actually be releasing another video uh, explaining the contest and everything like that. And uh, I'll be giving this away. You know, it's uh, there's nothing like playing uh, Atari on real arcade controls. So uh, stay tuned. Thank you for watching, and uh, good luck on making your own, too. Cheers.